what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello, Fred Archie, this is Catching Fire 3 with some more Hooked on You Dead by, uh, Dead by Daylight Dating Sim. I totally forgot about this game for a while, but uh, I guess I'm back to it. Okay, yeah, there we go. True moment of peace and tranquility that lasts for all of seven seconds because Trickster shows up and he's playing his latest song. Hey, baby, you look lonely. Mind if I join you? He doesn't wait for an answer. I know you've been hearing from these guppies all day, but I want you to hear something from big fish like me. Something special those in Church's Island don't want you to hear. I am the ultimate catch on this island, the only lobster in an ocean of sardines. Radical! No one can give you what I can. You just have to find me. Come find me, baby. Trickster leaves. You're a bit confused about what to make of his cryptic clues, but you aren't going to get... Any time to yourself to think about them just yet. Wraith approaches you. Hey, I'm probably not making a great impression because uh, I guess that's not really my thing. I just know that if you got to know me then, I mean, look, the others aren't around. I really hate the fire, but I just kind of hate fire in general. Maybe we could go back to the pool. And like, I don't know, whatever, you know. I dip in the pool with the wraith? Come a long way in a single day. I'm not saying you shouldn't follow him and off, uh, follow him and offer like that. Just don't forget our little talk. I forgot the little talk because it was like a few. It was a full year, I think, or close enough. You and your storyteller friend slip into the water. It's just the right temperature for an evening dip. Plus, if someone just shark comes along and manages to jump from the ocean into the pool, you're also pretty sure your killer companion can handle it. Uh, hey, do you do you remember my story? You mean the one you just told like a minute ago? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you, I mean, like, what What do you think of um the young man in the story? Do you think he's weird? I would forgive him. What happened to him would make anyone snap. And who knows what happened in his past that lead to that point. He was just trying to be good. <laughs> yeah, that's all he wanted was to be good. Well, that makes sense. Um, did the young man remind you of anyone? Yes. It's you. It's clearly you. What? No, it's I'm... You're carrying around the guy's skull and spine with you right now. Wraith looks at Azarov's skull, then out of the middle distance, a long silence ensues. You notice the temperature has dropped significantly. Is it cold in this water now, or is it just me? I feel like my toes are turning into ice cubes. Wraith seizes up and squeezes his eyes shut. Please, I can't be around in a cube talk. Not since um, I heard that story from somebody else a long time ago. The story you just told us two minutes ago? Exactly, the one that wasn't about me. Usually, we'd be nervous that we were about to make things awkward when we barge in. But obviously, we can't hold a candle to whatever was happening here tonight. Whoa! Either way, it's time for bed. <laughs> for you, but not us. After you go to sleep, that's when we party. As they're spending all day cooped up in those tight little safari-themed resort uniforms, you just know those two... Rage late into the night, of course. No, maybe because they are on an island full of killers, so who knows? I don't, but you're not here to party with them, you've got your own repressed relationships to tend to. We head over to the campfire and sing our campfire song, our C A M P F I R E S O N G song. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster, then you're wrong. But it'll help if you just sing along. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, sorry. The heat is comforting on this chilly night. Looking into the cracking embers, you think about Wraith's story about the young man who found out he was part of a sinister plot. What don't you know about your current situation? Is this something that will terrify you? Something that will make you snap? What if you look into the eyes of evil and what if you like it? Before you can dwell too much on your, uh, your fate, Claudette and Dwight arrive. The now familiar creepy smile stretching from ear to ear. It's a bit menacing to see a smile like that lit by firelight. Neither of them are smiling right now. We must uh, apologize for the accommodations. We weren't prepared for another guest, but we're going to make you comfortable or die trying. They hand over a pillow and blanket and welcome you, snuggle, uh, welcome you to snuggle up by the fire. Perhaps the music will put you at ease. 
Just try to keep the volume to a minimum. Our other guests aren't the types you'll want to rob of their beauty sleep. Oh, well, yeah. Ready. Away we go. As you relax and look into the fire, the radio begins to fuzz and flicker. You examine it and decide that you might have just to dial and fix it. Let's see what's on this station. No matter how many things you listen to, you still can't sleep. You decide one of the killers to spend a little more time with until you're sleepier. Who would you like to summon to your side as you lay by the fire? Hot. Q. Tries his best. This one. Duh. Chopper, are you around? I was wondering if I could get a little company. Now that. That's hot. Look at that shit. Look at those pecs. Trapper tells you a secret for falling asleep when he's feeling restless. A heavy bearskin blanket is all you need. If that doesn't work, I just go for a late night walk and punch the first person I come across. You're a real charmer, Trapper. Uh, I'm not sure I'm brave enough to kill a bear or skilled enough to skin it. You're certainly not either of those things as far as I can tell. Here, hold on to this. Try not to hurt yourself. What's that? Trapper hands you an entire bear's pod, complete with sharp claws. It's like the most aggro version of a rabbit's foot you've ever seen. You finally start to feel sleepy, except maybe this isn't really a, a sleepy feeling. Maybe you're paralyzed. You try to keep your eyes open, but you can't. And then you fall asleep. Dark night just takes over you, and then you die. Oh, ah, no. The dark voice from earlier speaks to you again. It shouldn't still be as spooky, but by now you've had a whole day of strange voices in your head. But this one is still undeniably odd. The human body is made up of 60% water. Did you know that? Uh, of course you did. Everyone knows that. Even amnesiac video game protagonists. Well, guess what? Drink as much as you'd like. You'll never get to 100%. You hear me? Don't think I don't see what you're up to. You wake suddenly to see someone moving over you. Wraith stares at you awkwardly. He says nothing, just stares. You look around to see if there's something going on behind you or, or on either side, but nope, just staring. Oh, you're awake. I saw you with the trapper right before bedtime. Are you making some sort of a alliance? Are you with Wraith skins the horizon? Them? I'm just making sure you are who you say you are. I've been burned before and something seems off on this island since you've arrived, even more off than usual. Uh, maybe we could talk about that tomorrow. It's just since you got here, I, I, I just, I, I think we could have a really nice day tomorrow, T together, you know, because I, I, I haven't had a love before, and when I did, well, things got a little freaky, uh, and not in a good way, you know. It's, it's just you have no idea how long I've been here with those these monsters. To be honest, I have no idea either. They're just awful, boring, loud, and stupid. You're different. There's finally someone here on my level. You're thoughtful, interesting, gentle. I think we could, uh, you know, have fun. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what I mean? Just the order. whoop You know? I could show you some cool stuff. <laughs> Don't look in the pants because the trouser monster will get you. If you want. If you don't, that's totally cool. I get it. No pressure. In fact, probably just forget I was here. Good night. Finally alone for real this time. Maybe. If you drift off to sleep again, hopefully you're not poisoned. Or worse. whoop You know? <laughs> I wish you guys could see I'm, I'm doing a thrusting motion. Wait a second. Where are we? This isn't... Oh, jeez. It is. It's one of those reality show confessional rooms where all of the contestants talk directly to camera. I think today went really well. These were some of my first interactions with someone who isn't a parent that didn't end in bloodshed or untimely perishing in my Russian cottage. So I'm counting today as a win no matter what happens. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What do you think of the newcomer? Um, do I have to say, oh, I do? Okay, hmm. Attractive. Mysterious. I really don't know what that many other words since I was raised by my mom in the woods until she was scared by an elk <laughs> and I had to wash our entrails off my seraph and all the good old days that being said the other three should make sure to be on their guard I don't know who this newcomer will want to spend time with tomorrow 
but I for one will not let my guard down easily. Who knows about the others? Wraith, I think, knows more than he's letting on about this place, but he's a hard nut to crack. He's a hard nut to bust, more like. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean it. <gasps> Anywho, meanwhile, Spirit is just screaming all the time. Major Buzzkill and Trapper, oof. Where do I begin with Trapper? He's buff, sure, but Teddy issues much? Sheesh. Look, I don't need anyone. I've been perfectly fine on my own since my mother died. I eat a fine diet of raw deer, bear, and human, and I'm fit as a fiddle. Since that being said, something about this newcomer makes me think that I might be missing out on some huge part of this thing called life. If I'm being honest, I want to kill just about every person I meet within a minute of meeting them. Even the few... What? Even the few people can tell you I, I want to see suffer for a long time before I kill him. But this person, for some reason, I would like them to continue living. For now. One false step in. <laughs> well, you know, everyone calls me Trapper for a reason. They better call me Trapper. I swear, if I watch this later and you list me as Evan, I'm going to kill the Sharon guy. Yeah, today was fun. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I really am. Invest in something that might hurt me, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just see how it goes, or maybe they'll realize I'm not the one for them. They seem really smart, so that's probably what'll happen. I gotta learn to go easier on myself. Who could love me if I can't love myself? I know that everyone thinks of me as a beautiful, cold-blooded monster. I can't help it. Circulation just isn't my thing, you know? <laughs> I don't choose to be cold. This cute head and robe? Okay, those are a choice, sure. If someone were to come around and capture my heart, at least I'd be being stabbed in it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, if you know what I mean. Hey, boobies. No, sorry. Um. Besides, if I'm, if I'm going to get bloody revenge on a society that has used me and throw me away, maybe it wouldn't hurt to have a little help. Sorry, I don't know why that came over me. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Alive. You open your eyes. The sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky. And you feel great. Totally well rested. You're not even suspicious of the fact that you fell asleep by the campfire. But woke up several yards down the... What the fuck? Wait. Are you on vacation? Was yesterday nothing more than a strange dream? No, not a dream. You really are here for another day. Why, I why I have no idea. You're obviously a weirdo. Speaking of weirdos, I see the rest of the gang is hanging out on the beach. This is definitely not a dream. I won't rule out a nightmare just yet, though. At least they make for a sexy bunch, no? I mean... Chopper! If you know what I'm saying, I, I, I let him go, HAPA! You know what I mean? <laughs> And talk about sexy, here comes Trickster carrying coffee. Good morning, beautiful. I thought you might like a nice cup of joe to start this incredible day off right. Deathly Coco. Trickster seems suspiciously cheerful. I'm sure there's nothing nefarious behind his joyful demeanor. Someone, everyone knows magicians are morning people. I also want to wish you luck. Today's an important one. My only regret is that I won't be a bigger part of it. But budgeting issues. I get it. I get it. Okay. Also, I'm just swamped with engagements, especially on the other island. Trickster winks at you if you want to ask him how to reach the other island. Now is the t never mind. He left. Well, at least he brought me a cup of. No wait, don't drink that. What the hell was that? They don't call him Trickster because he's good on a skateboard. He definitely didn't get that name because he brings people drinks so they can have a good morning. That was almost certainly not coffee, and I don't want anyone casually poisoning, imprisoning, and torturing you, well, yet. This is supposed to be a tropical paradise, the type of place you give a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, 2 thumbs up review you for an internal prison of pain. Eternal, not internal, shit. And please make sure to leave a review, it really helps with the algorithms. Are you kidding me? They are taking the piss out of the fact that this is a game. Wow. Just trust me, I'm looking out for you, so can we please move on? Hey, wait a second, how did a possibly omniscient, possibly unreliable narrator physically just knock that coffee out of your hand? 
This is not Parliament, and the floor does not recognize the ocean to speak out of turn at this moment. I need no recognition, for I am the ocean. I dominate the land. I submerge those who defy me and become their watery grave. Actually, speaking of grave, I would like to say something. Something of grave importance. If you don't... <laughs> I get it, because I'm gonna die. Possibly. Fine, go ahead. Even if this place is an eternal prison of pain, and I'm not saying it is. Even a place of extreme horror can still receive a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, thumbs up review. If it was crafted with love and or, that's the type of thing you're into. You know, the ocean is right. A lot of hard work goes into a place like this. You should really judge it on the artist's intent, and whenever possible, start from the mindset of, mindset of giving them the benefit of the doubt constructing these elaborate simulations. Uh, I mean, vacations. It's not easy to do. <laughs> what the fuck? Sometimes there are some small bugs or inconsistencies, but that's just the nature of the process. Perfection is overrated. The universe is filled with mysteries. We ought to celebrate those who venture to bear their souls as part of a creative process with the ultimate intent of making things for our enjoyment, not to be overly critical of them. Are you two trying to sell me on this place actually being good? You don't have to say it like that, especially after I saved you from that poorly made cup of coffee. Sorry, we should have been here five minutes ago. They always do this on the second morning. Sad, really. Even if they do make some great points. Oh, sure they make great points, I agree. Can we please move on? Uh, yes, of course, apologies, Scott. The last few minutes aside, have you been enjoying your time here on the island? Yes, it's been very entertaining. How else could I describe my stay on the island besides really entertaining? Wow, 10 stars, here we come. Can someone remind me to skip this section next time? Nope. We do need to ask you one more question, though. We all had to sign away our rights to say anything negative about this place. Would you please sign this non-disparagement agreement? Oh, fine. Yes, I would hereby agree to participate in a verbal contract stating that I, Scott, will never say anything negative about my stay here on this island. Perfect. Delightful. Excellent. Yes, yes. Hey, Scott, it's totally really cool if you have constructive feedback. The place to leave that is in a positive review. Because we all know that nobody reads negative reviews of games or resorts like this. Okay, I get it. They're breaking the fourth wall. Holy shit. What a brain blast. Okay. Anyway, I see Dwight and Claudette have gone into a trance. And with the grumbling I hear from your brother, that can only mean one thing. Breakfast. Perfect timing. Everyone rolls into the dining area to... Lard up their sexy little bellies with pancakes and bacon and so much for maintaining these beach pods. We're all half naked in a tropical paradise. Can we get some strawberries here? A, a yogurt? Magic powers will only get you so far. Even killers watch their sodium intake. Like, what the hell? We're on a freaking diet on a freaking desert island, man. You take your plate and sit down thinking about yesterday and the whirlwind of feelings you experienced. Danger, dread, disorientation. It was like going through puberty again. You just on one day on a beautiful and mysterious island. Looks like you're not the only one doing some introspection, though. Trapper stands up to talk about how his day went in case anyone was wondering. Personally, I wasn't. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't expect you to survive yesterday, so congrats, uh, I guess. Whether you survive today is 50-50 at best. Good luck. Well, that was bizarre. Back to your breakfast. Nope. And now Hunter steps up to talk about her feelings. At this point, anything could happen. I'm open to all the possibilities that the strange island has in store. How, how open-minded. Oh, well, that surely must be it. No one else would, could really stand up during breakfast, too. Just like that, here comes Spirit. Did everyone sleep well? I did. I should, or should I say did not. I haven't slept in 20 years on account of the whole burning quest for my familial revenge thing and last night was no different so in that case it was exactly how it should be got a lot of reading done though now if you don't mind i'm going to go back to quietly resenting being trapped here with you all while looking cute doing so guessing wraith has had an has had enough time to work up the courage to speak in front of a group ah perfect there he is take us home wraith oh hey that was fun yesterday huh 
Yeah, I mean, not like too much fun. That would be weird, but like a, a good, like a good amount of fun. And now they're all looking at you, explaining. Wait, are you supposed to stand up and explain how yesterday made you feel? Oh, uh, I am. I, uh, I think I need to process everything by myself. I'll see you all soon. Damn, what a power play. Keep them wanting more. You're getting good at this game. Or, er, uh, sexy, true-to-life experience. Shame you didn't get to eat any breakfast. Ah, so be it. Why is there a black swan right here? After breakfast, you head to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. Before you get there, though, something catches your attention. You hear that? Who are you addressing me? Well, yeah, I guess. That is okay, right? You know, I might be pursuing a relationship with one of these four fine killers, but it feels like the person I'm getting to know the most is, is you, narrator. It's only okay in so much as it serves to illustrate that you've lost your mind seeing how I'm not real and all. Yeah, I heard it this time. I think it's coming from behind the pool shed. No, no, stick it in there. A little more, a little more. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yes. How does that feel? Intense. Nice. Yeah, that feels right. This this is uncomfortable. Now I want you to take that and put it right. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Just like that. Exactly like that. Sure, I had no idea these two even do uh whatever it is they are doing. Uh, I'm afraid to look. Please say something so they know you're close by and can hear everything. Uh oh wow, look at this super cool bottle of Trickster brand suntan lotion someone left on a chair. Anyone know where I can buy some? Damn it. Oh, come on, a little privacy, please. <laughs> oh, God. Dwight is panting and Claudette has a crazed look in her eyes. Sorry, I didn't know how else to let you know I was here and that I could hear you. Well, you know. No, what? What do you think we were doing? You were doing... I don't know exactly what you were doing, but it sounded like, uh, fun? You think two people trying to find new ways to kill each other in a desperate search to make their own death permanent is fun? Oops. We get five minutes to ourselves every day and we spend it hoping if we stab each other in just the right spot we won't get resurrected. I've come to believe that the key is finding the exact place we need to bleed out from it, and I believe that place is in our appendix. Why else would it be there? Makes sense to me. It does make sense. The appendix doesn't do shit, I'm pretty sure. Do you actually think we were me and him, Dwight? <laughs> no. You don't have to laugh that hard, they get it. <laughs> My life is a nightmare, and yet somehow it's never been worse than right now. Let's go, lover boy. I noted all our entry rooms, and our five minutes is up anyway. Good luck, Scott. You're going to need it. And hey, if you figure out how to escape this island, please make sure your ghost tells us how. That's uh, both a tragedy and a comedy. A cragmedy. I like that. Shut up. I like it. Anyway, where are we? Oh, yeah. You're heading to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. So for today has, so far, today has been exhausting too. But you're dedicated to achieving a true sense of calm. Well, if you, let me see, hold on. I think this is the right one, right? Save, yes. Well, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more, or what you want me to do next. Subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in favor. Of course, as I don't say all the time, but you don't have to subscribe, but it would help out a lot. Well, maybe not a lot, but maybe you like my content. I don't know. Uh, anyway, stop blabbering. Uh, you know, I'm going to stop blabbering.